heavy fighting in northern Syria. Pro-Turkish fighters exchanged fire with the Syrian army near the border town of Ras al Ain, a sign that the situation remained volatile despite Moscow's confirmation that Kurdish troops had successfully withdrawn from the area. Uh, we have to believe uh, our Russian partners. We have been working together to stabilize uh, Syria for uh, many, many years and uh, together with Iran uh, as well. But uh, on the other hand, we cannot trust the terrorists. The deal struck between Russia and Turkey last week gave Kurdish fighters until Tuesday to pull out of northern Syria, effectively creating a 30-kilometer buffer zone along the Turkish border. Joint Turkish-Russian patrols were expected to monitor the withdrawal, but were delayed due to Tuesday's clashes. Meanwhile, the U.S. Special Envoy to Syria urged all parties to de-escalate the situation as foreign ministers met in Geneva for high-level talks. Yet both Iran and Russia said Washington had lost its legitimacy in the region and showed little signs of backing down. Well, it seems that the United States is staying to protect the oil. Uh, uh, Iran and Russia are there on the invitation of the Syrian government, and we intend to stay there as long as the Syrian government and Syrian people want, to, want us to be there. Turkey launched its offensive after U.S. troops pulled out of northern Syria earlier this month, abandoning their Kurdish allies. But on Monday, the U.S. army began to redeploy further east, a move Donald Trump said was meant to protect the oil. We want to keep the oil.